Well, in this video, we are given the magnitude and the direction of two different vectors, and we will find the sum of the two vectors in component form. So, look, in general, if you are given the magnitude r and the direction theta, all right, magnitude and direction, you can convert this to component form by doing r cosine theta for the horizontal component and r sine theta for the vertical component. So let's convert both of these vectors from magnitude direction form to component form using this formula. So for vector u, um, we're going to do 6 cosine 40 for the horizontal component and we will do 6 sine 40 for the vertical component. For vector v that would be 2 cosine 150 for the horizontal component and 2 sine 150 for the vertical component. Now I'm just going to put all of these expressions in my calculator. For example, if I do 6 cosine 40, oops, I am in radian mode. I need to switch over to degree mode. So be careful. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Let's try that again. Okay, 4.5, 4.6. Okay, how about 6 sine 40? That's 3.86. All right, what about 2 cosine 150? That's negative 1.73. What about 2 sine 150? Oh, whoa, that went off camera a little bit there. That is 1. Okay, so we're supposed to find u, the sum of u and v. So what we need to do now is find u plus v. And uh, so all we need to do is add the corresponding components. So 4.60 plus negative 1.73. That's 2.87. And then how about 3.86 plus 1? That's going to be 4.86. So that's it. This is going to be the sum of <clears throat> u and v in component form. 